Hi everybody. Today I am going to solve this problem. It says if the section shown in the figure, we can see here T section. And here it also says it turns from fully elastic to fully plastic. So in that situation, the depth of neutral axis decreases by, there are four answers. We have to choose the correct one. So here our section dimensions are given 60 and 5 for the flange and for the wave also 60 by 5. And also here I have marked for the elastic neutral axis, it is YE and plastic neutral axis, it is YP. As I don't know the exact positions, so I put arbitrary somewhere here, not sure exactly where it is. After calculations, we'll find it. So let's move ahead to see how to find that YP and to get the difference between YE and YP. So I have taken my section at the right hand side to work on the left. So here I have written the elastic neutral axis. It passes through the centroid of the section. So it means this neutral axis, it passes through the centroid of this section, T section. Now what we'll do, as I told, we need to find YE. So I have to take moment of areas about this upper surface of the flange. So what I get, this whole area, it will be 60 multiplied by 5 plus 60 multiplied by 5. It means this whole area for the flange and wave. And distance will be YE because I am taking moment about this line and this whole area centered working on this line. So I have to take these distance YE. So I have taken that. Equal to if I do separately for the flange and the wave. So of course it will be 60 multiplied by 5. I mean this one. And from this line here, center of this area, distance is 2.5. So I have written 2.5. Again for the wave, 60 multiplied by 5 multiplied by distance from here, not this one. It is actually this wave center. Wave center will be exactly at 30 because its height is 60. So it will be 30. And from here to here it is 5. So from this center up to here 30 plus 5, 35 because we are taking moment about upper surface of the flange. That is why 35. So using calculator we find 300y equal to this. So surely y e equal to 18.75. So we got the distance. Elastic neutral axis distance from this upper surface of the flange. Now our target is to find y p. So how to do that? Here I have written plastic neutral axis. It divides the section into equal areas. If you study about plastic neutral axis in books, you will see there are a lot of explanations with the diagram of the section and the stress diagram. And at an end, it is showing that it divides the section into equal areas. So here we have to look at this section. If we see the flange area, it is 300. 
if we see wave area it is 300 so what it says it means if we take this line intersecting lines between flange and wave then of course this 300 this 300 so what we can conclude the plastic neutral axis must lie at the intersection of the flange and wave because this plastic neutral axis line will divide the whole area into two equal areas because this is 500 this is 500 so surely we got this yp equal to 5 so here i extended it up to the this line so surely i can write y equal to 5 got it so i got the yp i got ye so let's see ahead to see how we can find these distance so in the next page we see that so here i mark the neutral axis i mean plastic neutral axis because already i know it is at this intersecting position of wave and flange as well we got the two distance y p equal to 5 y equal to 18.75 so how we can find these distance surely we have to subtract these two like this we get 13.75 millimeters it means this distance so we can write our answer very easily and it is 13.75 right away it pops here 13.75 millimeter this distance it was asking and we got this already i wrote here a option is correct and that's all for this section